Welcome to this contest capture tutorial on Orthophoto TouchUp and more specifically on fixing building edges. Contest capture produces true orthophoto mosaic, meaning that it uses the digital surface model to correct each individual photo into orthophotos that are then combined to create the orthophoto mosaic. However, this also means that the autophoto quality can only be as good as the quality of the digital surface model itself. Due to DSM of limited quality, you can spot artifacts on your autophoto, such as building edges that are not perfectly straight, and we will see in this tutorial how this can be fixed. So again, here is a feature summary. First, we use the Autophoto reference model to spot areas to edit. Then we use the Autophoto touch-up tool to select a polygon and locally edit the underlying DSM. And finally, modify the DSM with a horizontal plan at fixed height or a free plan. So let's review the step-by-step -step operations now. First, we will review the Autophoto result in the reference model tab. Then, select an area to edit and open the touch-up panel. And draw a polygon around the area to edit, change the projection type, adjust the polygon edges and blending if necessary, and apply your modifications. So now in Contest Capture, in my block, I've created an autophoto DSM reconstruction and submit the first production. So I have a reference model that is now processed and that I can review. The entire reference model of the autophoto can be checked and you can spot areas that you would like to edit. Use the touch up an area button to select the area you want to retouch. Here we have spotted two buildings that are poorly represented and we want to fix this. So let's try to analyze why this looks bad. If you go to the display style tool and hide the autophoto temporary, you can see the DSM that is used to project the autophotos on. And you can see that the quality here is rather poor. So what we want to do is to improve that DSM. We will use the polygon tool to draw the area we want to edit. It doesn't have to be extra precise to start with. What I want to do is change the project in type so it doesn't use a DSM, which is fairly bad, but use an horizontal plane at fixed height. Now we need to adjust the height of the fixed plane so that the photos correctly reproject in the auto photos and that we can do accurate measurements. We will use the height picker in this icon and click in the middle of this area where the DSM is good and the height is correct. I can see on the scale that the height has been adjusted. I will then adjust the polygon edges to get the entire overhang and a clean reprojection in that area. Again I can use the photo panel to choose which photo to project in the autophoto mosaic. There are a couple of interesting indicators I can help choose the best photo. The marker on the sphere gives you an indication of where the photo has been taken from. And additional information will pop up if you leave your cursor on the image. You will see the coverage, the off nadir angle, the azimuth, as well as other information to help you decide. This said, Contest Capture is already using this information to sort the photos by the most relevant ones. Once you're happy with your modifications, just use the preview button to review before and after and apply the modification if that's all right. Let's redo the procedure for the second building. We first draw the polygon around it. Projection type is horizontal plane. We pick the height in the middle of the DSM and we nicely adjust the polygon edges. Once we're happy, again we can use the preview to review before and after 
when we are happy with it, just apply. We can now save the modifications and go back to our reference model view. We can see that it has been updated and we can now submit an update to our existing productions so that the latest modifications are reflected. Let's now review a more complex case where the roof is not flat but has fields and hips. Again we will select an area to edit and the toucher panel will open. So let's review what's happening with this roof. So if we hide the autophoto temporary we can see that the DSM is indeed not very precise and that's why the building edges are not very straight. So we want to correct that. We will have to correct the DSM faces by faces. So we will use the polygon tool to draw the first face. And this time as the projection type, we will use free plane instead of horizontal plane. Place the handles on the plan you want to reconstruct. This will average a plan according to the underlying D DSM. The image is now projected on this custom plan and you can further adjust the polygon edges to match the roof limits perfectly. Use the preview checkbox to review the effect of your modification. We can already see that the building edge is much sharper now. You can adjust the blending option with the width and the type to make the building edge even crisper. Again, you can review before and after and apply your modification when ready. Now we want to adjust the other edges of the building. The snapping mode that you can turn on or off can be used to help you draw your next polygon since it can snap on the previously created polygons on the vertices and edges. Again, spread the handles on the surfaces you want to model and adjust the polygon edges to perfectly fit the roof edge. Again, play with the blending option to avoid the roof to blend with the street below. And when you're happy with the result, press apply. Then repeat the operation for the last part of the roof. Again, you can use the snapping, adjust the handles, choose the best photo contribution for the roof, adjust the polygon to fit perfectly the limit of the roof and adjust the blending option. When happy with the modification, just press apply. Again, save your modifications and update any production if necessary.